Hey, I just got a great question on my channel uh, from I think it was David. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, but what a good question. What's the difference between Los Angeles and New York? Well, I want to jump right in. Um, okay, so it's like two different worlds. The West Coast and the East Coast. And I'll tell you how. Um, now, I was born in upstate New York, so I could be a little biased, but I'm going to try and be candid and authentic because there's no reason not to be. So, okay, here goes. See, New York is a whole different culture than Los Angeles. It's not, uh, well, think of it geographically. They're both by water, but that's where the differences end. Um, so if you, uh, you got to go to each city and try it out for yourself. But I found the difference to be, and New York City is one of my favorite cities in the whole world. And as you know, lots of them I've visited and some of them I lived in. And this city, it's like, it's got that beautiful Central Park in the middle. And you're, you know, you're pretty likely if you're in certain neighborhoods in New York, like Manhattan and, uh, you know, the upscale, upper, well, Upper West Side, Upper East Side. And, you know, you might see some movie star, but there's not going to be a big commotion about it. And the things that are there, the age of it, so the the history of it is cool. And L.A. being more new, it's not the same culture. So the difference being that L.A. is more like a bunch of little cities together. Santa Monica, Koreatown, Hollywood, Malibu. And so if you want to live there, you got to pick a good place to live. But the thing is, you're going to have to have a car. So you don't have to have a car in New York, which is really great. You can take the ferry, you can take the subway, you can ride your bike, you can, I mean, it's not really set up to ride your bike in Los Angeles, but you've got the beach. So if you're a beach person, I think you're going to like it. Now, the roads are really clogged with traffic, so you got to get used to that in your car. You think you got it solved, but no, the traffic is pretty bad. And I haven't even been in it for some years now driving. But you gotta prepare yourself. So in that regard, New York is more livable because you don't have to have this big machine that you have to pay a college education for for the year to park your car in Manhattan. So, you know, prices are both high for both cities. And the people are really different, I gotta say. I mean, there's an entertainment, there's lots of money in both places, so you are gonna have economic opportunity, but the thing is, it comes at a price, you know, the high cost of the housing and having a car there and... But, you know, fashion industry, entertainment in L.A., the biggest Jewish uh, group of people outside of Israel. Um, I think New York is second. And, you know, I would say New York, you know, that's where the people went, like us and my family, went through Ellis Island and became USA citizens from Europe. And LA doesn't have that. It's more of an Asian influence because lots of people from Asia come over from many countries. India, Thailand, probably the most India, although I don't have the exact figures. But you're going to get more Asian influence in LA, which is cool, and the Pacific Ocean. Atlantic Ocean in New York, so that's way different. It's, it's just a different dimension. And how people are is really different, too. I feel like, um, I know New Yorkers have gotten the reputation as being in your face, but to some extent it really is true. And I actually like that. I don't see what the big deal is. Like, just say it and get it off your chest. Geez, stupid to hold it in and fester. So, you're not going to get that in L.A., no. People are smooth and say stuff that <laughs> isn't true. Uh, to sound good. So I was surprised when I first discovered that. But that's actually, I think, true all over in the big cities in California. So you got to watch your step. Um, but, you know, I've met wonderful people in both. And wonderful people from both places in other parts of the world. 
So, highly, highly recommend that you go there and check it out because you're going to have such a different feeling about it than what I'm telling you because, you know, you just have to get the practical part. you got to have a car in L.A. You're going to have economic opportunity with entertainment and the beach. Pro, big pro. Whereas it's not, well, New Jersey has a beach. You could go there on the New York side. Um, New York State is a whole, I mean, I'm from Syracuse. That's where I was born and grew up in Canada. And, you know, I loved my growing up there. It was fun. It's a beautiful state. There's lots of fresh produce. And I always felt like we had really good food. Even fresh meat from Leo. <laughs> that my dad would get from his friend Leo and it was darn good I remember we had so much steak in the freezer in the basement oh my god so see that's pretty rich and I appreciate it now thank you mom and dad I know you're up there and I like checking in with them so so you, you have to do your final decision of going there I don't always do that a lot of times I just go to a place and say okay I'm living here but you know, you, it, it is wise to go ahead of time. So just think of it like L.A. being the newer, New York being the older, but there's benefits of both of those because it brings in, like, the music scene in L.A. Wow, it's really good. Lots of free stuff, you know. So I know a little bit about the one just in the summer in Central Park and I don't know if there's, there's probably a lot of free stuff in New York too. So um, that Central Park is really amazing in the middle of Manhattan. I think that place is incredible. So you do have that park in the middle of the big city just like this. You know, I'm in Lithia Park in the middle of Ashland. 20,000 people and happy to be here. So I hope that helps and please ask questions uh, if you have specific about New York or Los Angeles and let me know okay down below. So thanks for your request and I just love that you guys are coming in and talking to me and watching the videos and we're having a good time. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.